by the Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. I found a bottle that I forgot to review in my first Costco run. Uh, so stay tuned for the 2019 Shops Enough to Pop. Hey everybody, so before we begin today's video, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, click that notifications bell, and do other things uh, to let me know that you like the content. If you hate the content, uh, then click the like button three times. It'll turn colors and it uh, means that you really, really don't like it. It's this hidden feature in YouTube a lot of people don't know about. And um, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you can also subscribe if you just wanna do that every time I post a video. Like button three times and that'll teach me a lesson. So today we are gonna be reviewing the Kirkland Signature 2019 Shopped Enough to Pop. Uh, they were nice enough to actually give the breakdown on this wine. It is 70% Grenache, 10% Syrah, 10% Morvet, 10% Senso, and it's 15.5% alcohol by volume. And if I recall, this is a splurge alert because I think I paid $23 for it at Costco. So uh, it goes even a little bit more than uh, what I typically buy for my splurge alerts. Because I try to keep my splurge alerts around 20 bucks. From a color standpoint, I'm going to give you medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose, whoa, wow, actually the first thing I'm getting out of this is cranberry. Cranberry, raspberry, there's a little bit of red cherry. No, sorry, scratch that, black cherry. I'm also getting a touch of plum. I wasn't expecting that. I am getting a nice little cinnamon going on here, uh, a touch of clove. There's also like this slight herbal note. Uh, I would say it's probably more like sage. There's a touch of cedar and what smells like raspberry jam. Yeah, anyway, but how does it taste? Medium body, medium tannins. I thought the tannins would actually be a little bit higher. They're kind of chalky. Yeah, just chalky, medium tannins. Alcohol taste, the alcohol tastes high, but it's integrated so well that you don't get any of it on the nose. By the way, I always forget this part. Nose was medium plus intensity. Palette medium plus intensity too. But this wine lacks some acid. So it's, it's a medium acid wine. Also medium finish. Yeah, and in terms of fruit, all the fruit is there. So you're not missing anything. Everything you smell in the nose is there on the palate. So what's the rating on this wine? The only way we know is if we get to the Blick. From a balance standpoint, I'm having a hard time with this one. I'll be honest because I really like how integrated the alcohol is with this wine, almost to the point where it's an afterthought until you let, you let it sit for a while and, and you kind of feel it in your throat after a few sips, but you don't get it on the palate. It's just not something that really hits you very hard. It's not really even present on the nose, but it is lacking acid in my opinion. I do think it needs acid. This is tough. Because you have one and not the other... Oh no, screw it. I'm gonna give you half a point. I can't I can't justify not giving you half a point on this one. Uh, in terms of length, mean, and finish, half a point. In terms of intensity, medium to medium plus on the palate and nose. Kind of leaning towards medium plus there, so half a point. And in terms of complexity, I am getting primary and secondary, so half a point. In the end, you're a good wine. Man, I really wish this had more acid. So this wine is something that is a screaming food pairing. I don't know if it's a solo drinker, but to be honest, I don't know what I would pair with it because you need to make sure that something that doesn't have too much acid that's gonna overpower the wine. You want everything to kind of match here. So uh, I'm kind of stumped on the pairing, but if you wanna leave recommendations on what you think would pair with this in the comments below, that would be super helpful for everyone because um, I can't help you with this. I'm not a Psalm and I can't even think of what to pair with this. Maybe hot dogs? Now I'm thinking about it, maybe hot dogs. Yeah, like a nice grilled hot dog. That would that would go probably well with this wine. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Kirkland Signature 2019 shot enough to pop? It'd be interesting to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.